Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kirby Kwan Jr. and today we have an important PSA. If you go take elevators, if you go take public transit, hell, even if you walk through doors and buildings, this is important. Come again, this is Kirby Kwan Jr. Let's go. Why is it that people think that they should just run into an elevator or train or whatever without letting people out first? What I'm about to introduce to you guys is a very simple concept that most third graders understand already, which is that for something to get in, there needs to be enough space, which means you need to dump it out first before we can put it in. What do I mean? Well, I'm Asian, right? So why don't I bring in some tea and talk about this the Asian way? So here we have a bottle of this uh, weird herbal Asian iced tea thing. Uh, I actually don't know what it's called in English. In Cantonese, it's called Bakti To, which literally means northern paper grass. I don't know. But here's the thing. I really love this drink. I wish I had more of this drink. Hmm. I guess I should just unscrew the little lid and pour more inside, right? Right? No, because that shit's just going to overflow. So if you use your third grader mind right now, then you'll know how to solve this problem. You see that empty space? Now I can pour more in here. So in case if you didn't figure it out already, what I'm preaching for today is let people off the damn train first before you get in, or let people off the damn fucking elevator before you can get in, or even more importantly, let them out of the building so then you can go through the fucking door unless you want to be using a revolving door. Because it works both ways. The reason why I have to make this video is because people believe that you're supposed to get in first before you let others out. But how would that work? There's a reason why there's a loading capacity within elevators or bottles or whatever the hell. It's not like chemistry where you mix two chemicals together and then to accommodate for the space, the density increases. We can't do that as human beings. What we could do is let one motherfucker leave and then another motherfucker in. But you can't do it where the motherfucker comes in first because the density increases, meaning that people are now squished up and touching each other uncomfortably and they can't even breathe properly. What is this? And let me actually tell you a real quick anecdote, and this is completely true, this happened on Wednesday. So Kevin and I were headed downtown. The subway station is underground, meaning that what we need to do is take the escalator up, and then finally get out of the building itself to go to where we needed to go to. So we head up the escalator and we're about to leave the building, there's already about 10 people coming in, so I just politely waited. And then the last person says, Can't you at least wait for me to come inside before you leave? God. There's a problem with that logic. And for those who are wondering what happened after that, what did I say, what did Kevin say, I just said, you're fucking stupid. People are supposed to leave first on my way out, of course. And then uh, Kevin actually got more pissed off than I did. Like, <laughs> he was more angry for me than I was. But seriously though, this happens oh too often on streetcars, subways, trains, elevators, doors, shit like this happens all the time. And it's like, use logic. How do you think you're gonna be able to step inside if people are rushing outside and there's more influx of people inside and there's a loading capacity? And, and, and it's not like they bump you and then they step back like, fuck, I can't get in. No, they think they could walk through you. Like, motherfucker, you're not Danny Phantom. But seriously, think about it. You know, the elevator doors open up. You have a 200 pound Snorlax Panda Pikachu Kirby thing standing in front of you. Like, do you think you're gonna be able to walk through me? No, I need to either step sideways to let you in or I need to get the fuck out. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, please, please. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all around the world, please practice proper exiting etiquette. Because otherwise you're probably gonna walk into someone and uh, if you get trampled over, you did it to yourself. 